Hey, aloha everyone, Chef Reggie here with Aloha Show You. Football season is back, so we at Aloha Show You thought it would be appropriate to make Monday night poo-poo recipe. What better way to watch football than having great poo-poos? So that means every Monday we'll be featuring a new poo-poo recipe, easy recipes you can make at home using Aloha Show You products. Today we'll be making poke nachos, and if you haven't yet, check out our website at alohashowyou.com and subscribe to our newsletter where you can get new recipes every week. For today's recipe, we will be using ahi cubes. We got sliced green onion, red onion. We got diced jalapeno. We're gonna garnish the dish with diced tomatoes. We got sesame seeds. We're gonna fry our own wontons. And then we'll be making a spicy mayo using mayonnaise. We got sriracha, chili oil. All right, so for our, our poke nachos, I'll be frying up some wonton wrappers that I already cut in half. And if you don't have time to go out and get these, or you can't find any, you can also use already made corn chips. Oops. So what we have here is a 300 degree oil that I'm just throwing the wontons in quick and easy. Just be careful of the splatter. And then you just want to throw it in there for a couple seconds as it pops up. And then we'll just stir it around, making sure that they get nice and brown. Real quick, a couple seconds in the oil. Let it turn golden brown. Right. And one. All right. So this recipe calls for wontons. It's good to feed at least four to five people, but if you have less folks, then just use a just use less. And while I fry the rest, I'll meet you back at the table where we can do our poke. All right, now we're going to be making our spicy mayo. So we have our mayo here. Put the mayo in the bowl. This one is about a cup, a cup of mayonnaise. And to this, we will be adding sriracha. You got two tablespoons there. And then to this, we'll be adding a splash of sesame oil. And to make it slightly spicy, we'll put a little bit of chili oil. And then we'll just mix this up. And we're gonna put this in a squeeze bottle. So we just got done making our spicy mayo, and now we will be making our poke. So in this bowl, we have our ahi cubes, and to this, I'll be adding green onion. Some red onion for crunch, some texture, color. And then just to give it a little spice, we'll be adding some jalapenos and some sesame seeds. And guys, if you haven't yet tried Aloha Shoyu's poke sauce, you don't know what you've been missing. And now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make poke in the convenience at, in your home using Aloha Shoyu's poke sauce. Aloha Shoyu offers two poke sauce. We have the original and we have the oyster poke sauce which both are available in our website at alohoshoyu.com. Alright, for today's poke nachos, I want to use original poke sauce. Alright, the good thing about Aloha Shoyu's poke sauce is you have a convenient in a bottle. You just shake it up and you just pour into your mixture. Just like this. 
And when I'll show you is poke sauce. It has a, like a sweet, salty flavor with a hint of spiciness. So it goes great with, it goes great in poke and it can be enjoyed by kids, you know, all ages. It's not too spicy. It also has a little hint of lemon. So you just pour it in and you give yourself your mixture a little mix. And that is it. How easy was that? Simple, quick, using a lot of poke sauce. All right, so now we are ready to plate our nachos. We have our wonton chips. We have our poke right here. And we have our garnishes. You can garnish with diced tomato and green onions. And we got a plate here. So what we wanna do is put our wonton chips first on the bottom of the plate, just like that. They're nice and crunchy. They're, they fried real nice to a golden brown color. And we just wanna place it like so. so then we'll add our poke on top. So I'll just take our mixture, give it one last stir, and then we'll just put the poke right on top. Like that. Making sure it's pleasing to the eyes. So we have our, I'll show you poke sauce. We have green onion, jalapeno, red onion on the dish. And then we'll just take our spicy mayo, give it a little shake. And then we'll just want to drizzle it right on top. Just like that. Then we'll garnish with our, with some red diced tomatoes for some nice color some refreshing flavor. And then some green onion. Mahalo everyone for watching and tune in next week for a new Monday Night Football Poo Poo recipe.